I was just talking about that earlier, talking about Bashar and um, and the weekend with Bashar here in Sedona. And yeah, it's like we just get so attached to like wanting the answers. And I, I remember when was this last year in I think April or March, we did a crop circle thing together. And there were three of us, you, me and Sinead. Nadi was sharing some of her crop circle presentations that she gives. Nadi's a public speaker and instructor. And so she, you know, was was preparing this talk and, and we were like, we want to, we want to see it. And so Nadi generously shared it with us. And and this, you know, I dabbled in crop circles, but this was probably the first time I had just sat down and allowed myself to just be immersed in them for like an hour, however long that was. And I had like a two day contact experience after that. That night, I had a dream, which I won't talk about here because we're going to get back to you, Nadi, but I had a dream that was instructions for what I was supposed to then be doing later that year. Like the they do connect us with higher intelligence. Like I have had that experience. And I know people in your classes have like you've so earlier this year you were and you still are conducting crop circle classes in addition to kind of the foundational sacred geometry classes. And I'd love for you to share about some of those experiences because and, and I, you know, know just a little tidbit from just the times we've hung out and I remember hearing about these and thinking, wow, like just the evidence continues to stack up with what people experience. Yeah, yeah, and that's part of what keeps me going. I mean, in my own personal experience, you know, and I never actually needed to go to England. I never needed the empirical data. You know, a lot of people want that. Uh, but for me, I've had such embodied, profound experiences. I don't need that. My, my intuitive knowing is my own proof. And I believe that the formations are here to help us develop a reality based in that intuitive knowing, mm -hmm. right? Moving actually away from a third dimensional, you know, rational, linear, empirical Western model into, you know, a more fifth dimensional, heart-centered, intuitive, connected, yeah. in, you know, perspective. So they're actually a mechanism of transformation in so many ways. And for me, these are advanced technologies being given to us that are helping to activate our higher potential, our higher capacities, uh, our DNA. You know, there are sonic frequencies left in some of the crop circles that when you go into them, they create a theta wave, right?